Hi, Rock Creek family. This is Pastor Brian. This is my wife, Amy. And welcome to your second week of the family devotionals. We hope you got your children all together. And we're going to talk about the wise man who built his house upon a rock. We get that from Matthew 7, 24 through 27. It's been recorded out of Jesus' words. It says this, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does them, or does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against the house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. When we think about this, we think about... Who's the rock in this particular passage? Well, we know the rock is Jesus. And in this, the foolish man is building his house upon basically the world and the worldly things about the, that uh, are mentioned here. So that passage parallels the wise man who built his house upon the rock and the foolish man who built his house upon the sand. Um, when I hear the word sand, I always think of the beach. It's my favorite place in the whole world. I don't even probably care what beach it is. I just want my toes in the sand. <laughs> but um, if, you, if you've ever been to the beach and you put your toes in the sand, I like to just stand there right where the waves are crashing. And then the waves come up, they like pull the sand out from under you and you sink down a little bit. It's, it's fun when you're at the beach. It's not fun if that's what you've built your house on. Um, so think about if you built your house on sand, um, actual sand, or just not on the solid rock of you know, your foundation of your home, your spiritual foundation being on Jesus, um, how shaky that foundation would be. I don't want that foundation to be pulled out from under me too easily. But if I were, let's say, the Pacific Coast and had a massive boulder or rock I was standing on <laughs> and the wave came, it wouldn't budge me. Yeah. So think about what kind of foundation you're building your house on. So what kind of foundation does your home have? A firm foundation or a weak foundation? Strength and security are built on a firm foundation. And the same goes with your walk with Christ. Hey, everybody. This next section is a little long, so let's read together in our next books. This passage parallels the wise man and the foolish man and what each of them chose to build their house upon. If you have ever been to the beach where the waves lap at your feet, you know that the water moves the sand around all the time. If you stand in one spot and let a wave come in and out, the sand will literally come out from under you as the water takes the sand away. That is not a solid foundation to build a home. If you were standing on a solid rock when the wave came crashing in, you would not be moved. In this same way, we need a solid foundation for our lives and our homes. I am not talking about a physical foundation, but a spiritual foundation. When you are facing a big decision in life, when you are in a time of struggle, and when you want to celebrate the great things, where do you go? Building your life on a strong foundation means going to the Lord and His Word first. Pray, study the Bible, surround yourself with like-minded counsel, and remember that going into the next day. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The floods came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. So you might be asking yourself, like, how can I put this in action? How can I build my house upon the rock? So I'll just tell you, one of the things you can do is, first of all, make sure you're in with this, that you have a Bible in your home and that you're reading it. So maybe it's a family devotional type thing for your family. Make sure your kids get to church. That's such a big one. We've always, we've always made that a priority in our home. And then also pray whenever things are good and pray whenever things are bad. It's okay. It's really to pray all the time. Pray without ceasing. We've already talked about that before, too. Remember, to build your house upon the rock, you've got to have the rock in your home to do it. And this is the Bible, and this is what it's all about. So remember that, and I challenge you to do that. Make sure you have your Bible. Make sure you're praying. And always, always, always make sure your kids know and to, that they can come to church and learn about Jesus here at Rock Creek.